This is uh, the latest in a series of how-to videos I've been working on uh, to increase productivity, uh, workflow, and also, in this case, get around some particular bugs uh, that I have with my system and setup. Splat is a Windows free work automation program that I use for a variety of purposes to help me with my workflow. I use it for productivity as a startup tool to get everything exactly how I like it every time I start up my computer and also to deal with some Windows bugs that I, do, I have to handle on a daily basis. I won't be going into an enormous amount of detail about these programs. I just kind of wanted to show a few basic things about how they work for me and how they're actively solving problems and making my work more effective. So here's a quick look at the program window. You can see a variety of different pro profiles. Uh, there's the log of what's happened through the launch process at each stage. And then there's the actions taken for individual selections. So here at the startup, I have a lot of activities, whereas for my marketing setup, I have only a few items. There are a variety of options. I won't get into the details here. There's a lot of functionality within this program. The author has uh, been very kind to us. So the first thing I'll go over right now is the productivity tool. We're going to talk a little bit about how to switch between projects and switch between programs. And two of the things that I work on include uh, a marketing role as well as a project management role. And sometimes I need to switch quickly between these two different roles and the files associated with them. Uh, so let's say, and I've just set this up by way of example, that some of the things I need are to work on a mock-up, some support from a, a coworker, and just a presentation. I've set up three different PowerPoint files for this example, but really you can use almost any program, any file type, and the associated programs will be launched. So I'm gonna, I've selected the profile. I'm gonna click the launch button, which as you can see, looks like a rocket going off. I'll click launch profile, and that's launching in the background. And the program's launched right up to the presentations that I'm interested in working on. I'll go ahead and close that. Next, I'll switch over to my project management folder. Let's say I wanna also add a particular project management document. Just drag it right in. Let's say I want to add a couple of additional edits to one of the items. What I can do is right click, select Edit Entry, or press F2. And in the window that appears, you can see uh, some of the details about what's going on. Now I can choose to run it. I can also choose to close the application, kill the application, which is a little more aggressive. Uh, set this to a profile, so I can launch a, an, in, another profile inside the profile as well as a number of other things that I, I won't get into in this video. And I'll go ahead and change the launch state of this. I want to start this particular program minimized since I know I'm going to reference it but not directly use it. And I'll set the launch priority as below normal since, again, I don't need it immediately. It can launch when there's time. I will click Save. Let me go ahead and launch that particular profile now. All right, and there they are. You can't see it on, on the screen. The presentation three that I just uh, started up has launched in a minimized format, just as I requested. Next, we're going to go over the use of the program as a startup tool. I'll demonstrate how I use the program to launch all of the programs that I use at the beginning of my uh, launch phase. This is great because a lot of times what I'll do is I'll shut down my computer over the weekend just to make sure that Windows has everything, all of the programs unloaded when I start on Monday. So this program can get me back to where I was on Friday as quickly as possible, and I can edit these menus easily from week to week. The other element is that increasingly you have to implement updates by doing a restart. And if you have to restart something in the middle of your work week, that can be really disruptive. So having profiles set up so you can quickly jump back to where you were uh, helps keep you secure and keep you moving. Finally, we'll go over dealing with Windows bugs. One of the problems that I deal with quite a bit is how old Win I have an old Windows install that's about two years old now where Explorer just keeps freezing on me. It's really inconvenient. So what I've done is I've set up Splat in its Restart Explorer profile, so it's set to Kill Application, which is one of the options underneath the Action menu. So I'll say Kill, which is the standard C Windows Explorer.exe. Click Save. And then run that same exact file. And every time that Windows uh, crashes on me, I can run this profile quickly to get back to where I was. 
next to the applications that I have on a daily basis do not handle the fact that I'm in a 64-bit Windows environment well. They crash sometime during the middle of the day. As a result, I've set up a quick system for rerunning those applications. I call it the crashers. Finally, where do I get it? Uh, just get on Google and do a search for SK Wire Splat uh, or SK Wire Splat Softpedia. I'll try to include a uh, link in the description to both of those locations. Anyway, this concludes our video, uh, which has gone over an automation program for Windows called Splat that helps you deal with Windows bugs, work as a productivity tool, and quickly start up your computer to the setup that you enjoy. Thanks for watching.